Throughout the history of mankind, the divine messages are often shrouded in mystery. Prophets, messiahs, or whichever names you call them, are often persecuted and oppressed, their words obscured. But how do we distinguish the true from the false? To do so, one can only rely on the divine's guidance, and the truth will reveal itself to those who earnestly seek it. The Christian prophecies reveal that the end times will see a staggering reduction in the human population. Even some of the God-fearing will not be able to escape the collective retribution. The early Christian author Lactantius likewise echoed this grim fate. For the human race will be so consumed that scarcely the tenth part of men will be left, and from whence a thousand had gone forth, scarcely a hundred will go forth. Of the worshippers of God also, two parts will perish, and the third part, which shall have been proved, will remain. Here is another vision about the cleansing period from a 17th century German priest known as Venerable Father Bartholomew Holzhauser. Es ist eine Zeit des Glaubensabfalls, der Katastrophen und Vernichtung. Nur wenige Christen werden das Schwert, Plagen und Hungersnöte überleben. Impact and death tolls of zoonotic pandemics and epidemics in the past century estimate. Spanish flu, an estimated 500 million cases and 50 to 100 million deaths. Asian flu, over 500 million cases and 1 to 4 million deaths. Hong Kong flu, over 500 million cases and 1 to 4 million deaths. HIV AIDS, an estimated 79.3 million cases and 36.3 million deaths and counting. Ebola virus disease, an estimated 34,687 cases and 15,322 deaths and counting. Variant Crotzfeld Jakob disease or Metcow disease, 231 cases and counting. 100% of cases fatal. SARS, severe acute respiratory syndrome, 8,098 cases and 774 deaths. 10% of cases fatal. Avian flu. 1,568 cases and 616 deaths, and counting. Swine flu, an estimated 1.4 billion cases and 575,000 deaths. MERS, or Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, 2,574 cases and 886 deaths, and counting. 35% of cases fatal. COVID-19, an estimated 200.7 million cases and 4.27 million deaths and counting. With so many predictions pointing to a dismal fate for humankind, one might ask if there's anything we can do. Every day, if I see the news, people die, over millions already, but that is the minimized number. The real number is more. Even the real infected number is also more. And it's a time for retribution. No one can do anything about it. I can rescue the souls only if they repent. Uh, physically speaking, they have to go through this time of cleansing and payments. There is hope if we have faith and are repentant for our misdeeds. Then, at least, our souls can be saved 
even if our physical bodies cannot. This is the divine promise being made at this time through Supreme Master Ching Hai. I help their souls, whatever souls I can help, okay, if they repent, if they're praying in their heart. I'm sure at this time of the world's trouble and at their time of, of death, they would be praying and repenting. And this is also good. So it's easier for me to help them. Yes, okay. Yeah, to help their souls. It's more important. We die sooner or later, but if your soul is liberated, that is the best thing. According to Christian beliefs, the prophesied period of trials, called the Great Tribulation, will precede the second coming of the worshipped Lord Jesus Christ and an age of peace. As part of the process, Satan is to exercise control over the planet for a certain duration, and this would be allowed by God. In the early 1820s, a Catholic lay devotee from Italy, known as Blessed Elisabetta Canori Mora, saw in her inner vision. Dio, con un solo cenno della sua destra mano onnipotente, punirà questi iniqui, permettendo alla potestà delle tenebre di sortire dall'inferno, e queste grandi legioni di demoni scorrevano tutto il mondo e per mezzo di grandi rovine eseguiranno gli ordini della divina giustizia, a cui questi maligni spiriti sono soggetti. Meanwhile, in Germany, the Breverian nun Blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich revealed her experience. In der Mitte war ein Abgrund von Nacht. Lucifer ward gefesselt in diesen geworfen und es brodelte schwarz um ihn. Es geschah alles dieses nach bestimmten Gesetzen. Ich weiß, dass Lucifer, wenn nicht irre, 50 oder 60 Jahre vor dem Jahr 2000 nach Christus wieder auf eine Zeit lang freigelassen werden. It is true that during these years, unprecedented chaos really did shake our world. There have been massive conflicts and famines, the massacring of animals, and the shocking destruction of forests, land and oceans, not to mention accelerating climate change, the increase in killer chronic diseases like heart disease and cancer, and widespread deaths due to meat, tobacco, alcohol, and new addictive drugs. etc. Could all these atrocities have been a result of Satan's influence on human beings? An explanation can be found in the writings of Maria Valtorta, an Italian Catholic who was the recipient of frequent dictations from Lord Jesus Christ in 1943 during World War II. Dice ancora Gesù, ti ho detto un giorno che in questa odierna tragedia sono già in moto le forze di Satana, il quale ha mandato i suoi angeli neri a muovere i regni della terra l'uno contro l'altro. Non è, non è il piccolo motivo umano l'origine di essa, non è. E un altro, il motivo vero, che fa dei fratelli tante belve omicide, che a vicenda si mordono e uccidono. Uno è l'esecutore di questa rovina, 
uno che è sulla terra perché voi lo volete, ma non è di questa terra. Satana è che conduce i fili di questa carneficina in cui sono più le anime che muoiono che non i corpi. Questa è una delle battaglie iniziali. Il regno dell'anticristo ha bisogno di un cemento fatto di sangue e di odio per consolidarsi. In various lectures, Supreme Master Ching Hai has expounded on Satan or Maya's control upon our world. The root cause of all conflicts is not each other, but the system of this physical realm, arranged by the king of illusion, the negative force, né? to make all beings pitted against each other in a forever endless cycle of attachment and vengeance and violence. Not only there are tricks and traps, there are spawning webs of destruction shooting out piercing energy, knife-like, arrow-like, bullet-like, making people uh, or animals agitated, feel painful inside and aggressive outside because of the pain, the invisible pain that they endure. Then, of course, they quarrel with each other, fight and kill each other, yeah? for no justified reason. Then it becomes a habit. Then it becomes natural for them to live their lives in such destructive patterns. Then conflicts, wars will break out, or disasters, and so on and so forth. This world is like that. Only the lucky ones escape this network of Maya. Because they are full of different kinds of ghosts and demons and all kinds of things that still try to seduce people into the wrong path. It's just like the Maya, the devil, they like this kind of thing so that they can keep the souls in prison forever in their grip of power. Master has also helped to shed light on the reason why God would allow hell beings to come up and cause suffering in our world. It's also because of the zealous demons, the astral level influence, the hell level in influence that makes people listen to them that way and do that way, this way, to harm others or to make war. But it is also because the world karma is piling up, up to the extent that it's almost like astral energy or almost like hell energy. So light would attract like. Then the, the gate of hell, the gate of astral level will open. And these uh, uh, bad devil beings will come up. Yes, and cause trouble between humans, between humans and animals. Uh, between animals and animals even, okay? Yes. yes. That's the way it is, like that. So, um, humans as a whole also uh, partake in this karma. And we cannot just blame the devils alone. Whenever the humans, you know, in that country are related uh, to the office, do something bad or harming others, harming more and more animals or harming people in war or something like that in some aggressive manner and killing, then the hell road the gate will open automatically, okay? Yes, Master. And the, the demons jump out immediately. So even uh, God cannot stop that. Otherwise, we wouldn't have to have masters to come down. Just close all the hell rolls, we'll lock all the hells, and nothing will happen. But the humans will not improve. The humans continue to be bad, wicked, barbarous, killing, harassing, or torturing each other or animals. Yes, Master. And that will not be fair. And God has to be fair. Heaven has to be fair. Even if uh, demons are locked in uh, hell for thousands of years, but when there's too much bad karma, bloody death, in the world, then they are allowed to come up. So as long as humans do not change their way of life 
to more benevolence and compassionate way of life, then there will be trouble all the time. It's very sad, but if people don't change, they will be screened out in different ways, in disaster or in accident or in war. We have to change quick. We have to stop killing animals and killing each other. Then, then it's very quick the world will become heaven. Very simple. There's not much to do. Just be vegan, make peace. That's it.